Hi again, Mark here from Talking Bass. Now, a few weeks ago, I made a lesson on how to improve the tone of your bass and how to set your tone controls. This week, we're going to focus specifically on volume controls on your bass guitar. I'm sure any of you beginners have wondered what settings you should go for and how to deal with multiple volume controls when you have them. Well, wonder no more, let's get into it. Okay, so pretty much every bass will have at least one volume control. A one pickup bass, like a regular Fender Precision, will have one volume control. So here's a Fender Precision, here's that one pickup, and there's our volume control. We've got volume and tone, so... So there's the volume, turn it down, no volume, turn it up, full volume. A two pickup bass, like a Fender Jazz, might have two volume controls, one for each pickup. So here's a Fender Jazz, there's the uh, neck pickup with the neck volume, and there's the uh, bridge pickup with the bridge volume, and then we've just got the passive tone. So with both of the volumes up full, and then just take down the neck pickup, there's the bridge pickup, and then with just the neck pickup. As well as two volume controls, you'll also find two pickup systems with a single volume control and a blend knob. So here I am with the single volume control, which I can turn down and then turn all the way up. And then with the blend control at the moment, midway, that's the equivalent of both pickups up full. But if I switch it all the way over here, that's the equivalent of everything being on the bridge pickup. So the neck pickup volume is completely down. And the other way, that's all neck pickup with no bridge pickup. When it comes to two pickup basses, I do personally prefer the single volume blend combination over the two, uh, the two volume controls. I just find it a lot, lot easier on stage to just have one volume control and, you know, just turn it up and down. Whereas with two volume controls, you, you know, you've either got, if you want no sound, you've got to turn them both off. If you want, you know, a combination of the two, you've got to mess around trying to gauge it correctly. Whereas with this kind of setup, all you've got to do is find the combination that you like with the blend and then just turn the volume up and down. So what's the best setting for that bass volume control? Well, my go-to answer will always be crank that sucker up full. You want to maximize a good clean signal for whatever device you're going into, be it an amp or a mixer or a, you know, a, a computer. As an alternative extreme, if you were to set your volume very low, you would need to crank the gain and volume on the amp incredibly high to hear the notes. And you'll also be amplifying noise and hiss in the signal rather than the bass itself. So by default, I will always say, turn that volume knob up full. So here, if I was to just bring the volume up a little bit, you're not really gonna be getting much out of that. And I would have to, you know, raise the volume of the amp or in the, uh, you know, in the DAW, I'd have to really crank it up. Up full, we get that nice, full, clean signal. So you've got a lot to work with. You've got a good source signal. Now, if you have two volume knobs for a two pickup bass, this is a case where you might not just be cranking that sucker up full. Both volumes up full are going to provide full signal from both pickups, which you might want. However, you might prefer the sound of a bridge pickup for a song. In that case, you'd have the bridge pickup at maximum and the neck pickup at zero. Then, if you only want the neck pickup, you're going to set that neck pickup to maximum and the bridge pickup to zero. But you might also want to experiment with a blend of both pickups. So maybe a bridge pickup with a little bit of neck added in there to warm it up. So if we've got the uh, the bridge pickup there, there's that stereotypical middly bridgey sound. If I just bring in a bit more of the neck, it's still got that bridgey sound, but we've got, got a little bit more warmth in there. Or you might want a neck pickup sound with just a little bit of that bridge. So here's the uh, neck pickup on full. But then if I just bring up a little bit more of that uh, bridge pickup, it just adds a little bit more of those mids and just a little bit more bite in there. 
So when you're doing this, I would advise you to set the more dominant pickup that you're looking for in the sound to maximum and then simply blend in the other volume to taste. At all points, I'd look for one pickup to be set to maximum. So, you know, earlier on when I said crank that sucker up, you're gonna be doing that with one of the pickups, that way we're still keeping that good strong signal. Now, there are potential reasons for dropping the overall volume control or controls below maximum. One would be if you had pickups with a hell of a lot of output and an amp with a very sensitive input. This is rare, but sometimes the bass might be just too much for the input of the device or amp. You only know this with experience of having the issue, and like I say, this is going to be rare. There will usually be an input gain and possibly an active passive switch that allows for adjusting to a wide range of pickup outputs. But the possibility is always there, so it is something to be aware of. Another reason might be for simple dynamics right there at the instrument. You might want to drop the overall volume of the bass line for some reason and dropping the volume is going to act as a limiter for you so you can continue playing at the same velocity but with a lower output. Now, to be honest, I don't see much of a reason for doing this because I would just opt to play more dynamically with the fingers, but, you know, that's just me. If I want softer notes, then I'm going to play softer, but maybe you want an effect of some kind by way of maybe playing a little harder at the lower volume, but maybe you prefer the tone of the bass played with that volume backed off a little. So, other than that, I'd say opt for full volume from your bass. You'll get a good strong signal ready for the preamp stage, be it on an amplifier or a mixer. And like I said, there are situations where you might prefer to roll the volume back, which is fine, but I'd never drop the volume below halfway. You're going to increase signal to noise ratio and just end up with a dodgy tone. If you like that tone, then fine, you know, different strokes for different folks. But for me, it's always full volume all the way. Now, as one last caveat, there is something that we haven't discussed here, and that's the input gain of your amp. Gain staging is something that we all have to get used to as we start expanding into recording, mixing, and effects. And you'll even have to think about it on a very basic level when you plug into an amplifier. Don't worry about it for now. I'll be releasing a video very soon on that very subject, but it is worth realizing that the volume control on your bass will always tie into a bunch of other volume stages before the sound reaches your ear. Just because that volume control is cranked to the max doesn't mean you're gonna get loud volume from the amp, and a low volume control on the bass doesn't mean that the overall volume is gonna be quiet. You also have input gain, you've got effect gains, tone controls, and the overall volume control to contend with. So, that volume control on your bass is only the start of it, but we have to start somewhere, and what better way than to have a nice strong signal direct from the output of the instrument, primed and ready for the rest of the tone butchering in your signal chain. So, please like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications of new vids every Friday. And then check out all of the lesson material over at the website by clicking the link in the info below. There are over 500 extra free bass lessons there in the lesson map, and you can also subscribe to the free membership to gain access to a huge amount of free practice resources, downloads, and forums. There's a thriving community of over 120,000 members signed up, so plenty of people to help out with any questions that you might have. So get on over to Talking Bass, and I'll see you next week.